everyone, this is Michelle from Sphero. I'm coming to you from my home in Colorado. Like many of you, we're working from home. Um, typically, my role with Sphero is actually going to schools and working with teachers and really working with them to understand how to use Sphero, how to program their robots to make sure they feel confident in the classroom. But again, like many of you, I'm now the educator with my two little girls at home. Today I'm going to teach you how to get started with Sphero EDU so that you can do activities with your kids at home or even better yet, they can do them by themselves. We're going to cover a few topics. One, what is Sphero EDU? Two, how to create a parent account. Three, navigating Sphero EDU so you can find the right lessons and activities to do with your kids. And four, finally I'm going to show you some activities that I've done with some of with my kids. All right, well let's get started. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is a device, and we're going to need to download the Sphero EDU app. You can download the Sphero EDU app on a Mac, Windows, an iPhone, a Kindle device, an iPad, or an Android device. The next thing you're going to need are your robots. Today we're going to mostly look at Sphero's round robots, including Sphero Bolt, Spark Plus, and Sphero Mini. All right, now that you have those things, let's get started with what is Sphero EDU and how to download the app. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the Sphero EDU app. Go to your app store and search for Sphero. You might see a few options pop up, but look for Sphero EDU and download that app. Once it's been downloaded, go ahead and open Sphero EDU. And once it loads, at the top of the screen, you're gonna see Connect Robot. That's the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do. From there, you'll see a list of different robots to choose from. Choose the robot that you have at home. I chose Sphero Bolt. I'll select the robot that is closest, and you'll see that my app is connecting to Sphero Bolt. Success! From there, I can start navigating Sphero EDU, even without an account, from home to programs, activities, or I can just start driving it. It's time to create a parent account. We actually recommend that you do that through a web browser on any device. All you have to do is go to edu.sphero.com. You might want to create an account so that you can monitor your students' work or create assignments. From here, go ahead and click sign up. You can either sign up using your Google account or you can sign up through here by clicking parent. All you'll need to do is create a username, insert your email and password, feel free to subscribe to our email updates, and we'll send you the latest, greatest activities, lesson ideas, as well as information on webinars and new products. Once you've agreed and submitted, you can go back to your email where you should receive an email that says activate your account. You might wanna check your spam just in case you didn't get this right away. Once you've activated your account, you can go back to the edu.sphero.com and sign in. From here, I'm gonna sign in with my parent account. And now once I get in, I can add my students as well as I can access Sphero EDU from anywhere as well as save my programs from anywhere. This is very similar to our mobile app. As you'll see from the top, we have the similar things, home, activities, programs, but one new thing is classes. And this is where you can add your children. As you can see, I've already added one of my children, Adele. If I would like to add more, I just click the Add Child button. I can create a username, and then the only thing we require is first name, last initial, and birth date. You can also create the student's password from here and click Save. If you would like your students to post their programs publicly, you will need to have a verified account. You can set those permissions within each student by right here, permissions, and then they can publish public content or post public comments. Remember, you don't have to do this. If you would like to just keep your child's work with you, then that's fine as well. I keep mine off here. If you would like to have them publish it, go to your profile and then verify your account right there. You will just download a form and submit it. Now that we've created our account, the next step is let's find some activities for our kids to work on. You'll do that by going to activities and then all activities. One thing you'll notice within Sphere EDU, we have hundreds of activities that both we've created as well as our Sphere EDU community. Where I recommend getting started with all of your kids 
is starting with our very basic lessons. And the first one is draw. When you click on a lesson, it will load. And here we'll see step-by-step -step instructions that will get you and your kids ready to using Sphero. You can go step-by-step -step once you click Start Activity. And as they complete the steps, they can mark them as complete. And here we'll also see videos where they can learn how to create new programs that they can share with you as well. After the draw one activity, if they're ready to move on, one thing that I recommend going to next would be our blocks one activity. This will teach you how to create basic block programs, as well as walk you through our block canvas. Once you've learned the basics of Sphere EDU and the programs, you can do so many different things. The next thing I'm gonna take you through is programs. If you would like to create a program, all you have to do is go to create, select plus create. Here, title your program, my first block program, and then select the program type, either draw, blocks, or text, as well as select the robot that you plan on using. I'm gonna use Sphero Bolt. From there, you're gonna get your programming canvas. Our Draw One and Blocks One activities will walk you through on how to create some basic programs. But here, I just wanted to walk you through some of our blocks. Our most used blocks are our roll blocks. And in order to use these, all you do is take one, grab it, and always put it under On Start Program. From there, there are three inputs that you can use. Heading, which is 360 degrees. Which direction do you want your robot to go? And how fast do you want your robot to travel? And then for how long do you want your robot to travel in that direction at that speed? We also have lights. So lighting up the LED lights on your robot, sounds, and then we get into different programming elements such as controls, operations, and sensors as well if you would like to use the sensors within your robot. If you wanna learn more about how to use each of these different functions, what we recommend is going into the activities, all activities, and then you can use our search function at the top to type in anything that you're looking for. All right, now that we've walked a little bit through Sphere EDU, what I'm gonna do is actually show you how to find programs that are pre-written that you can get started with right away. If you go to programs, all programs, you'll see different ones that have already been started for you. I'm gonna click on the Simon Says one as I know that's one of my girl's favorites. We have a little video that walks you through how to use that program. And then once you click View Program, and once you're connected to your robot, you can go ahead and get started right away and have your, your students or your kids play around and maybe even change the program. All right, spend some time exploring Sphere EDU, and then I'm gonna show you some activities that I've done with my kids here at home. All right, now that we're back in the Sphere EDU app, we're gonna create our first program. Let's reconnect to our robot by selecting Connect Robot, find the one that is available, and wait for it to connect. Once it connects, you're gonna actually see it light up and success. All right, now we can drive it or we can create a program. I'm gonna start with drive. With our programs or with drive, the first thing we're gonna always wanna do is make sure we aim the robot. Our round robots don't have a front or a back, so we have to tell it which way is front or back. We'll select the aim button, and then you'll see a blue light appear on the robot, and then move the dial until the blue light faces you, the programmer. We can also change the LED colors on the robot and the speed when we drive it. From here, you can use the little joystick to drive it around. Now that you've learned how to explore the Sphere EDU app as well as connect to your robot, I'm gonna share a few activities that I do at home with my kids. The first one is collaborative art with Sphero. Have you ever heard of Jackson Pollock? Well, did you know that your kids can also create similar paintings? All you need is a cardboard box and some paper, as well as some washable paint. You can roll your Sphero in that paint and create some pretty beautiful art. The next activity I'm gonna demonstrate is Sphero City. 
Here, use whatever you have around the house. We use Legos, Paw Patrol, even some tissue boxes to create a city for our home. Then my girls were able to navigate the city by driving through the city as well as using the block programming. Finally, when homeschooling gets a little tiresome and we need a brain break, we use the Grovisphero program, Simon Says. In this program, you can go ahead and just get started without any work. All you have to do is hit start on the program and then have your kids follow whatever it says. We're gonna play a little game of Simon Says, but first we're gonna check out the robot and see what it does. Simon Says, clap your hands. Simon Says, jump up and down. Stomp your feet. All right, Adele, are you ready to play a game of Simon Says? Yeah! All right, here we go. I'm gonna start the program. Simon Says, clap your hands. Simon Says, jump up and down. Stomp your feet. Good job. Simon Says, stomp your feet. Simon Says, spin around. Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, jump up and down. Stomp your feet. Oh Simon no, says, Simon didn't say. Yeah, he got it. Another activity that you can do with your kids at home is build a Sphero City. Adele first tried to drive through it. Now we're gonna test our program and see if we can make it to the end. Go ahead and get started. Oh no, it hit the train. We'll have to keep trying. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to tweet us at Sphero or send us an email at support at Sphero.com. Enjoy exploring the Sphero EDU app as well as your robots with your kids at home. Thanks. <laughs>